I'm about to show you how to lower your input delay drastically in all games which you want to play in 2023. We're going to be using the NVIDIA Profile Inspector with a very specific low latency profile which I'm about to show you just right now. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. So guys, in the first place now, we're in here in the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, the latest version. The link to it is going to be in the description, guys. And this is basically a super secret tool a lot of people actually don't know about where you have way more options than the normal NVIDIA control panel. I mean, as an example, you can see how much we can actually adjust in here. And now on screen, you can see the NVIDIA control panel. There's literally only like a few options in there. And I'm about to show you a profile which is for the best low latency settings. This one you can, by the way, find on my official Discord in the performance pack channel. Just simply make sure that you go under discord.gg slash stripes and from there you can find it. It's going to look exactly like this you guys, NVIDIA profile low latency settings and as you can see you can't open it right now yeah? Because you actually have to go into the NVIDIA profile inspector and then you can see you now import user defined profiles. So you're gonna go under import profiles and from there on you're going to click onto it. It's gonna tell you profile successfully imported and click under OK. In here now you can already see that everything is applied basically for the best performance and least amount of latency in gaming yeah? You can go through every single of these options, maybe do some research on your own if you want to know more about it but in general guys this one here is actually set for the best performance we can see it now something like texture filtering quality highest performance power management mode prefer maximum performance we also actually have you know endostrophic filter optimization turned on this one is super important guys especially for large scaled games yeah they want to have this one enabled or endostrophic sample optimization as well then something here like anti-aliasing fxaa enabled this one we have actually on disallowed because for some games guys having like a super anti-aliasing mode is just going to cost you so much FPS, guys. The performance is going to be horrible. So therefore, leave this one disabled. Then we have Trillionaire Optimization. This one should be on on. And you can see now it will be automatically ignored if using high quality. So therefore, all of these settings which are right now in here, guys, should be applied overall for all the games which you guys want to play. Something like Valorant, Fortnite, CS2. All of these games where latency matters so much. You can basically see a bunch of these modes which are really unnecessary to overall give you like a more fancier looking game are fully disabled, guys, since we want to focus highly here on latency. The only thing which I would recommend you to maybe utilize if you guys actually want to is in here right now NVIDIA quality upscaling. A lot of people are using this especially in the NVIDIA control panel to maybe scale up something like 1280 times 720 to full HD 1920 by 1080 but for most games it doesn't work too well and I would rather recommend you to actually go for stretch resolutions if you want to do anything like that. Also super important guys here under allocation policy that you leave your memory allocation policy on moderate pre-allocation this one can cause so many stutters in different games guys if you actually have this one right now you turned on or just simply as needed. Leave it on that one guys, moderate pre-allocation is the best one. And then the only feature which I left here now on disabled guys is the bar option because for some people, especially if you have maybe like an older GPU, this one might actually decrease your FPS and not increase it. But on newer GPUs, I would say anything from like the RTX 20 series and above, you can actually try it out. Just simply Google R bar real quick and you can see all of the options, what it does. It's kind of complicated to explain. But for me personally on a 30 series GPU it actually does increase my performance so therefore I most of the times have it enabled but as mentioned do some research if your current GPU does actually support it because there are some even like from below the 20 series which do support it but make sure to do some research on your own because I can't guarantee that something like I don't know is 1650 can actually run this mode. Then just simply go and apply changes real quick guys and you're already good to go and now you can hop into your favorite games and try it out yourself and see how much your latency has actually improved. If for some reason you actually want to go back to the normal settings you can always go you know guys under restore current profile settings to the nvidia default ones and you're back to the normal settings which you had before